Hi there, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some knowledge about the Montessori system of education and what would you learn in the diploma of Montessori if you want to become a Montessori directress. Montessori directresses are Montessori teachers, right? The term Montessori is just not new for most of you, but many of you must have some confusions about this system. For the early childhood, we namely have three systems of education. The first is nursery, then kindergarten or KG, and then Montessori. Nursery and kindergarten are almost the same. However, Montessori system has its own methods and aims of teaching. Maria Montessori was an Italian lady and who was the pioneer of the system. I'm not going in much details that how this system has formed, but let me tell you that if you are going to do the Montessori course, what would you learn? There are five fields in Montessori education that you have to master. EPL means exercises of practical life, then culture, then language, mass, and sensorial. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my EPL file. EPL means exercises of practical life. The aim of all these exercises is independence of child, developing patience in him, developing manners, muscular coordination, and refinement of senses. The age group from which these exercises begin is 2.5 onwards, right? So if you have a child of 2.5, these exercises are awesome for him. Come on, let's get started. Here you go with the basic elementary group. In this group, we only tell the holdings of different things that we use in our everyday and also in the exercises in EPL. The first thing is holding a tray. To a 2.5 year old, we need to tell that how he should hold a tray, the thumbs up and the fingers down like this. You can ask the child to hold a tray and walk from here to there while keeping the tray still and straight. The second exercise is holding a glass, an empty glass. This is the way to hold an empty glass. And if there is water in the glass, then he must have a hand underneath, right? Then we have how to hold a jug. Again, to a 2.5 year old, we need to tell him that how to hold a jug. And remember that in the environment, we have the miniatures of all these things. The glasses are small, the jugs are small, appropriate to the size of the hand of a child, right? So this is the holding of a jug. Two fingers in the arm of jug and one at the top. And if there is water in the jug, hold it with two hands. How to hold a spoon? Moving forward, how to hold an apron because we have so many water exercises, also paint exercises. So for them, an apron is a must. Moving forward to elementary exercises. Here we have opening and closing of bottle caps, folding and unfolding of mats, rolling and unrolling of mats. Let's have a look. It's better. In a basket, you need to collect some empty bottles and then give them to the child to open and close. Children love doing this exercise. It develops concentration, gross muscular movement, fine muscular movement, and also patience and concentration. You can collect any kind of bottles like these, this bottle has a circular movement to open. Again, the whole hand is moving. The muscles are getting stronger. For this, we just need a thumb to open it like this. Fine motor movements. Okay. Again, a different kind of bottle. So children love doing these exercises. You can also keep some perfume bottles. The smell of the perfume is a point of interest in those bottles. Moving on to folding and unfolding of mats. This exercise develops coordination of movement, preparation of geometry and care of the environment. In the Montessori environment, we do most of our exercises on the floor. So this is not how we hold the mat to bring it to the place of work, but this is the correct way to hold it and how to open it, put it on the floor, hold it like this from both hands, open, smooth out. Then again, hold the corners, 
and open. Smooth out. And if you want to close it, hold the corners, match the corners, match the corners, smooth out, hold them like this, put them back at the place. This is folding and unfolding of mat. Then we have the rolling of mats. If the mats are in this form in the environment, so how the child have to open it? But let's see how to close it. Just fold it from the corners, start rolling. And here you go. And if you want to open it, put it down and simply open it like this. Okay. Moving on. Threading beads. Again, coordination of movement, eye and hand coordination, indirect preparation for writing as well because of this movement. The child has to hold the bead from one hand in the left and a shoelace in the other hand and thread the beads in the shoelace to make a necklace or a lace. And this is how he has to take them out. Put the finger at one end and then thread out the beads. Pegging a basket is an indirect preparation of writing because of this movement. If you want to see the presentation of this exercise, I will give the link in the description box. You can have a look. I have made a separate video for this, okay? Then we have sponging elementary. This is the preparation of a future exercise. Along with this, the coordination of movement, motivation towards signs that the water is taken up with the sponge and then if you squeeze it, it is coming back. So we are preparing the child for some science experiments as well. Then we have pouring beans from one jug to another jug. The size of jug is small, they are miniatures. Put some large beans in the jug, like kidney beans, and then tell the child how to pour them from jug to another jug. Okay. Then pouring of water from one jug to another jug. Again, a wonderful exercise. Children love to do this. Spooning beans from one bowl to another bowl. The children have to hold a spoon and then transfer the beans from one bowl to another bowl. Moving forward towards turning the pages of a book. How to turn the page of a book? A very important exercise need to be told to children at a very early age so that they develop the respect and love for their books. Then we have the last exercise of the elementary group. Basic elementary group is cutting along the line. Give some strip of card sheets to children to cut along the lines. This develop a sense of artwork and will help in future art and craft exercises. Now we have the higher elementary exercises. In these exercises, the challenge is a bit increased. Now the child have to transfer the water from one bowl to another bowl with the help of a sponge. The age of child for these exercises is three or three plus. Then spooning beans into number of containers. What we are doing here, we are giving a sense of division to children that how they should divide something equally only with the visual discrimination, right? Then we are pouring water into number of containers. Again, division, but the quantity of water in each container should be equal. Use of dropper. Again, some fine motor movements. Transfer the water from one bowl to another bowl with the help of a dropper. And you must have noticed that all of these exercises are really easy to do at home. You can collect the material, you can make the child do all these things very easily and they all are cost effective as well. Then the use of funnel. Look at this, these things really attract children. How to pour water in a thin bottleneck with the help of a funnel. Then we have the training for our most important aspect of our lives, that is dressing. How to open and close different kind of buttons, washing hands, washing clothes. Let's have a quick look. These are dressing frames. You can easily make them. Just need a hard card sheet, staple or stick some fabric over it and attach a zip to it. Give it to the child to open and close, open and close. This is how he will learn how to take care of himself and his surroundings. This is a press button frame. They all help in children dressing. 
large button frame. It will give coordination of movement, independence, personal care, concentration, and even order. Small button frames, a bit difficult exercise. Then hook and eye frame. Look at this. This is hook and eye. If you want to have a closer look. This is hook and this is eye. Hook and eye frame. Then we have the shoelace frame. Children mostly don't know how to tie their shoelaces. So in the Montessori environment, we tell them how to do this. And this is the buckle frame. For this frame, you need the help of a cobbler, but he will easily make this for you. Not a big deal. Then we have safety pin frame. The age for this is four plus. Moving on to the exercises of washing your hands. In this exercise, we teach all the steps on how to wash your hands. And again, it appeals the children the most because it's a water exercise. Then polishing shoe. We have different material to do this. The steps are as follows. First, you have to put the polish on the shoe with a spatula, then with a cotton ball. You need to spread the polish, then with a shoe brush, brush the shoe, then rub with a flannel cloth vigorously. And here is the, a shiny pair of shoes. Moving on to brushing your teeth, combing your hair. A mirror is a must in children's classrooms so they can go and watch themselves that whether they look good or there is something to be taken care of. So a wall mirror is a must in children's classroom with appropriate supervision. Now grace and courtesy are most important part of our lives. How to open and close a door. We need to teach children that they should not slam the door how to open it quietly and how to close it as well. Passing pointed objects. Again, we need to tell children how to pass a pointed object. The sharp edge of the object should not be towards the receiver. We should rather give it like this from the handle or from the blunt side. Then we have greeting guests. You can do a role play in your class. How to say thank you and sorry. How to pass through a group of people or in a crowded place. How to say excuse me, please. Standing in a queue, something really needed in the schools. Sneezing and coughing, the manners. Then table manners. Again, everything can be done with a role play and in a fun way. Then care of indoor and outdoor environment exercises. How to carry a chair. This is something I teach my children from the very first day that how to carry a chair. Because in classrooms, we have different activities in which we need to move the chairs. And if the children are dragging the chair, oh, it's a nuisance. So please tell your children how to carry a chair without noise. This is the way how to hold it. Put it up and then move. Then how to carry a table without any noise. And then dusting a table. It should not be like this. It should be just on one side. Either move back or either move forward and then clean it properly. Moreover, we also have washing a table. It's outdoor exercise. In most of the classroom, we have plastic tables that usually get dirty by time. So you can have an activity of washing a table. Moving on, polishing metallic objects, develop concentration, gross motor movements, and care for environment. Folding napkins. At the age of 2.5 to 6 year old, child is passing through different sensitive periods. So sensitive period of order is one of them. If you encourage children to keep things in order at this time, they will always do the same. So tell them how to fold and unfold napkins. Walking around the mats. Looks quite simple, but is a bit difficult to walk around the mats without putting a shoe over the mat. Then washing clothes. You can take a pair of socks or a small a uh, doll shirt and tell how to wash your dirty clothes, right? This exercise is for a four plus or five plus child. Then we have sweeping. 
must have some miniature dustpan brushes and a broom in your class or at your home and teach children how to clean the mess. This is for the sake of presentation. Mark a circle, throw some paper inside it and then also mark a cross in the center. Then collect all the garbage in the center, pick it up with the dustpan and throw it in the dustbin like this. Then you have the then we have another exercise that is watering plants. Again, the it is it comes in the care for environment. Washing a car, children can do this at their homes. Weeding, picking up dry leaves, and then you can make lots and lots of artworks with dry leaves. And we have advanced grace and courtesy exercises. And here in this, we have the silence game. In any of my next video, I will tell you how to play this game. This is something really amazing. And then walking on the line. So that's it. This was all about the EPL exercises that you can make your children do at home or in your classrooms. And along with these concepts, you can bring your own ideas and train your children on how to become independent, patient, mannerful, how to have a good muscular coordination and also some refined senses. That's all for today's video. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.